Whilst holidaying in sub-Saharan Africa in 1999, Dr. Mike Brazell found himself in Lubwe, Zambia. With an hour or two to kill, he asked to look around the mission hospital. This had been founded in 1905 on the side of Lake Shifanuli, in what used to be Northern Rhodesia. What he saw had a dramatic and lasting effect upon him. Lack of funds, decaying facilities and shortage of drugs were just a few of the problems. On his return to England, he founded Lubwe Zambia Hospital Fund, vowing to make a difference. I responded to an article in the local Macclesfield paper, and soon after this heard of the collapse of the foundations of the ancient operating theatre at the hospital. We promised to rebuild the theatre, and by 2002, plans and estimates had been produced and Mike and I set off to Lubway. We were hoping to be able to approve the project. This visit was to me a life-changing experience. My reaction to the first few days in Zambia were quite emotional. If only they could have an ambulance to bring people in who were sick instead of having to wheel them in on two bicycles strapped together only there were enough vehicles that when that vehicle was out on uh, clinics, outreach clinics, uh, they could deal with emergencies and they could still bring people in. It really is quite critical and in talking about the different problems such as how many proper wells are there, there are three wells, proper wells, capped with pumps serving 45,000 people. I just... I just get so upset talking about it. We saw much poverty and need and many opportunities to improve matters. After careful consideration and satisfying ourselves that the project would be properly administered and supervised, we gave the go-ahead and returned home very aware of the many other needs of the people. Clean water was an essential next step to prevent disease and save lives. In rural communities, the day starts at dawn. Virtually no one has electricity. Soon the early morning breeze will give way to temperatures of 35 degrees or more. The magnificent jacaranda trees make a stunning backdrop to an early morning wash in the lake. The day shift, walk to the hospital and a new day is underway. The girls at the secondary school look forward to the start of their new day. They may have walked many kilometres to get there, and each of their mothers, however poor, has to sew together a uniform for their child by hand. Our day starts with a meeting with Sister Rosemary Matthews Moyo, the hospital's environmental health officer, and Abraham Kosongo our man in Lubwe. We review the well diggers training program and the work that has been going on all year. We first reinforce the space with a brick force wire of about eight inches. Afterwards, we put the mixture of concrete, sand and stones. It takes about four hours for the rings to be ready. You 
would therefore have a ring standing. I think this all... Do you have any problem with one side of the ring catching on the side of the earth? And oh, no, no. We are, we these things are standardized. Standardized. Yes. All wheels. We so take the measurements. So, so it's always slightly... About 110 centimeters. So it's always slightly bigger yes. from the ring. So there's exactly. sufficient space. Yes. In fact, yeah. sufficient space. Yeah. Next, it was out and about to see what had actually happened on the ground and in the villages. It was an uplifting sight. Abraham and Matthews had obviously done a wonderful job. The villagers were delighted. So we just left Kalimansenga and we are in Manaboy's village. All these villages and the chief Chitembo. Maybe I would like to hear from what the locals would say about it. They're saying that they are very happy with this kind of development. It's a technology that they never expected it would be there at a period like this one. They are very, very happy. Very happy. Going on signifies that they are the willingness to put up gardens for vegetables. It would be a very good supplement for their good fish that they get from the lake a few yards from it. Yeah, the, the woman there was really appreciating the effort by the donors for that, such a program. To them it looked as a dream, but now that they have even seen it that has come true and that they are drawing water from there, they are really appreciating your efforts for their assistance. The story was the same wherever we went. Gratitude, curiosity, disbelief. Yeah, <laughs> It only remains to say a huge thank you. By your support and love, you have changed lives. Between us, I'm sure we can change many more.